Uh, hello. How are you doing? I hope you're doing well. Uh, oh wait, no, that's that's not the intro. Hmm. Hmm. Ugh, readings and salutations, universe. This is Krita, and this is Omni Factory. I still love, 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 love this room. Oh, it is beautiful. Look at that. Oh, it's gorgeous. This is our old sort of, uh, you could call it a fusion reactor, a fission reactor, whatever you want, a reactor chamber. But in reality, it's just an illusion. This is a whole bunch of numismatic dynamos that has been powering us for ages. In fact, they're not even being pushed to the upper limit of their capabilities, uh, which probably means that way down here, we have a, a backup system, and it's not being used at all as well. Uh, but I don't want to do numismatic in space, right? So I have been hard at work making some nuclear craft stuff. In fact, we have some... Oh, oh, the craft finished. Nice. Ah, yes, there we go. Good, good. Um, we have a whole bunch of stuff crafted here, and I want to get started with this nuclear craft fission reactor thingamabobber, okay? So we need the reactor casings, glowstone coolers. This is, I think it's gonna have us basically build a introduction uh, reactor, and then after that we can figure out a better one. So we need some reactor cells, lapis, glowstone, um, they wanted us to have some casings. I'll probably have some transparent ones as well. Uh, what else does it want us to have? Some blocks of graphite. Heck yeah, we can get graphite up the wazoo. I was making plenty of it. We'll just grab two stacks real quick. Go back to nuclear craft. And we probably need a reactor controller of some sort. I don't see anything. Where'd it go? Let's go back to nuclear craft. I know it's definitely here. There it is, fission controller. Can I just make one? No, that would be too simple. Silly, silly Krita, <laughs> tricks are for kids. Um, so we just need some more tier four circuits and Bob will be our uncle. Now, should I be using the other types of circuits, these amazing final tier three circuits? Y yeah. Yeah, we, we should be using these ones instead to make nanoprocessors. Um, I, I don't want to. <laughs> it requires an EV machine. Uh, I mean, I, I think we already have some. Let's see, I think it's through this door, up this stairwell, and over here. Um, you're EV, right? Yeah, I think so. Um, but, let's see, how do we make these? Wait, don't, don't sort on me. Yeah, this is an EV machine. I could make another one or if it, another few, but I really want EV machines and above to be up in space. Maybe IV in space. I really should do that. Anyway, we have what we need to craft the fission controller. Squirrel! Uh, so, that's everything. And, doo -doo -doo, yay, quest complete, cool. Uh, I'm gonna just crap. I'm gonna build this. It's what it wants us to build and uh, We'll try and understand what's going on here, and I am prepping for a slightly better version uh, an entry-level good reactor, but this will at least get us started and uh, Maybe we'll learn a thing or two. All right. This is a little bit interesting looking but uh, Depending on my understanding this might work. So, I basically followed the, the instructions along any edge or corner of the reactor. So let's just doink it right down there. And it does say it's a three by three by three fission reactor and we have cooling. And I believe we should be able to toss a little bit of fuel in here and it'll just work. Not sure, but hey, we'll figure it out. So we need some uranium and apparently specifically the 235 stuff so we're gonna grab some 235 toss it into a thermal centrifuge 
and see what we got. And there we go, uranium-235. Not sure why we need this, but I'm sure we'll figure it out momentarily. Probably this thing. So we have uranium-235, and we want a whole bunch of 238s. I think we have a ton of that stuff, so it should be as simple as doinking it in like this if we want this particular fuel type. I think that's what it's trying to get us to make. Not sure. Why didn't you register that I had you in my inventory? Hmm? Hmm? It's right there. Aha! There we go. Complete. Nuclear fuel infrastructure. Um, nuclear. Now, <laughs> nuclear. So, it either wants us to do uranium uh, stuff, so we should be able to put this in there, and it'll give us a whole bunch of other stuff. Neptunium, plutonium, and more plutonium. Uh, but I don't, I, I hope it works. So, I've never played with this mod before. I followed the instructions. It, it looks like it won't blow up. Because it, it's a perfect match. And I think that is the intention of this sort of introduction uh, setup right here. Um, so it, it's designed to work really well with that particular fuel type, the uranium one. So I think we just need a lever. We're looking in the wrong spot. A lever. And if we turn this on, it shouldn't blow up. Doink. And we're not generating any heat. And it is making something. Cool. Now, I am detecting some sounds. And I'm hoping that radiation is not a thing. I'm not sure. Radiation. I don't see radiation layer. Well, that's for a spacesuit. But I'm hearing noise. So maybe that's just coming from this, and we don't have to worry about it? Maybe? Let's see. Nuclear... I think we just made this little fella, right? Uranium, yeah. So we just made LEU-233, and I believe that if it was an issue, we would see like a, a radiation level when we shift on this. This is just telling us that it produces a little bit of RF and some heat, and things are fantastic. Cool? Cool. Now, once this is done, uh, we should get the depleted version. So, we should be able to get this guy. So, it goes from LEU to the depleted version. And then we can toss this in a centrifuge for a whole bunch of fun stuff. Americium, plutonium... And yeah, pretty much a ton of plutonium. So it's breaking it down into a different element in a way. Taking the uranium and smashing and all sorts of sciencey stuff. And voila, there we go. And in the process, we got quite a bit of RF. And I'm not sure the precise amount. I should have been looking right there. But this might be a reasonable alternative to our sort of quasi-fission reactor, uh, and this is a real one. Eh? Eh? Now, looking at all of this fuel, uh, there's a whole bunch that pop out to us, right? These things are very cool. We can get uranium. Uranium is always an option. But apparently a much easier one is thorium. So if we look right here, thorium is another basic fission material. Fissile? Fissile? Huh. Anyway, we can get it using granite, and granite we can make for free. So in a way, we can produce thorium for free. Eh? Eh. And we already have a reasonable amount of it. 14,000 of this. We can toss this into our fantastic centrifuge and take a look at how slow it is. Oh, why are you so slow? Don't do that. Now, once this is processed, we will probably just craft it together into a fuel nugget thing. Mabob. Yeah, okay, there we go. 
Now, we also acquired a kitty cat in the time frame that this took to cook. A kitty! And she is currently purring up a storm, I tell you what. Alright, so, thorium, TBU fuel, and... Now, this guy has a lower heat thingamabobber. This, the, the one we just used was 60, and this one is only 18, so it should be totally okay. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh. oh, that doesn't make much RF at all. This massive structure, I mean, it's not that big yet, but this big structure is uh, producing less than one of our numismatic little fellas right here. These things can produce <laughs> 12,000 RF per tick. And we're, we're not using all of it. Ugh. Maybe numismatic is the way. But I want to get away from it. Alright? This seems much more like a power generating methodology than burning diamonds. I mean, this is actual, real, generating technology. And I love it. Alright, so, momentarily it'll be done like so. Now we have depleted TBU, and I'm starting to learn what these names mean. So like this is uh, lesser enriched uranium, and this is higher enriched uranium. Where, where the where did the naming schematic go? Low enriched, high enriched. Okay, cool. And just like that, thorium fusion, or fission, fission, ugh, terribly sorry there, is complete. Now, we should, uh, we should take a look at what happens when we deplete these little guys, but I do have a few fuel bricks ready, and I kind of want to get the LEU one. So let's craft a few of these. How many can I make? One. Oh, is it because of this guy? Cool. Now we have 13, and I'm going to toss those in there. It's going to tick away. I'm a little bit worried about the heat. Um, but it should be okay. Oh, okay. We are safe because the net heat gen is negative. All right, that makes sense to me. Okay, cool. Uh, let us centrifuge these down and we will see what we get. So depleted TBU, which is the thorium, this is going to be the stuff that hypothetically we have a ton of, is going to give us a little bit of neptunium and uh, uranium. So we can make more uranium by getting tons of TBU. And if we take the LEU, which is the low enriched uranium guy, this is giving us more uranium, neptunium, plutonium, and more plutonium. With these, once we have enough of it, we'll be able to make more fuel. So it's sort of like by generating power, which I'm kind of wasting right now, but that's okay. We can take this stuff, toss it in a centrifuge, and make more fuel. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, I like that a lot. Um, do we have enough of this little stuff to do anything with it? Um, I don't know. Let's take a look. So, toss those in there. How many of that? We just got eight uranium 238s, and I think that we have a little bit of uranium 235 right here, but not quite enough. Hmm. We have the 233, and this makes the round thing of the bobber. What's the difference there? Isotopes, isotopes. I am so confused now. But I'm sure it'll become more clear. We have three different types of uranium. Tiny clump of uranium 233. 235? 238. Oh! See, we're learning. Cool. How about this stuff? Can we make something cool with this? Go, go in the system. Why does my system keep disappearing? I want to know. I don't know. And it's very confusing. So with that, we're able to make a little bit of plutonium. I feel like I'm holding radioactive material right now, and it's kind of weirding me out. I'm not a big fan of it. But what I am a big fan of is getting more of this fancy fuel stuff. So hopefully we can actually craft something with the resulting materials. 
cool. Toss that in there. Doink. And what can we make out of you? Ah. Do we... Is this the one that I've been making? The LEU 233 little fella? Not sure. Plutonium. Americium. Ah, this is different. We were making the 235. Double check the heat. This guy's going to make more heat. So I'm a little bit worried about the actual container here. But that should be okay. And, uh, yeah. Oh, this is, this is kind of cool. I like this a lot. Now, this thing is pretty cool. And it's still running. I love that. It just works. We put these little fancy pellets in here. And it operates. But you know what would be really cool? Something a little bit bigger. Eh? Eh? Ah, that's not bad. Uh, now, inside of here is a 7x7. Seven seven, so it's, I don't know, like 8 times bigger than that or something crazy. Uh, it is so big that I'm actually waiting on some glass to go inside of here. Yeah, this wall is not finished. And uh, that makes me a little bit sad. But... It should be ready soon. Soon? Maybe soon. Um, yeah, we're, we're working on making some casings to put in here. And uh, it should be good to go. All we have to do is either make another one of these or steal that one and slap it onto there. Considering that I have a feeling that we need a few of these, we really should just make another one. I mean, it, it's the only choice. Now, I'm going to slap this right down right there, and speaking of that, we should have every bit of glass that we need to finish this guy off. Now, I, I don't think I did it. Yep, okay, wall, filled, easy build, done? Are all the surfaces filled? I bet the roof's not. The roof's not. Now, <laughs> the roof is. So, from my understanding, this should be good. All right, seven by seven by seven. And uh, now the difference with this guy is you, can, you don't see any of those coolers. Inside of here, we actually have some active coolers. Um, they'll be right, right there. That's an active fluid cooler. It doesn't have any liquid in it right now, and we need to fix that. Right here, we have a fluid interface with a ton of molten cryothium. I'm hoping that this guy is going to be able to fuel everything up there, and we're even going to use fancy lasers, because why not? Uh, so, doink, 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 and doink. Now, uh, we're going to grab a compass so that we make sure that we're actually pulling out of that, because uh, otherwise, you know, things can get messy. So, where is the origin compass? We want to have this only out of this block and we should see this buffer up here it has fluid in it so we know that it's working and this active cooler right here it has fluid in it and we have a ton of cooling nice i like it now again this is just here for testing purposes this is sort of like a multi-block storage facility ultimately i think this is going to go in space uh, we are prepping for space. <laughs> we built the structure, now we need power. And I'm hoping that we should be able to take this little nugget right here, toss it in here, and now we're generating 487,000 RF. Uh, I'm not in the mood for doing the math right now, but I think that this thing is going to do us pretty good. Uh, where's the energy going? Is, oh, it's not going anywhere because we don't have uh, power going to this. Now, I think one thing that I am going to have for this is an on-off switch in the form of a fluid level emitter. Uh, if we still have cryothium in the system, I want this thing to turn on. So, and it, and it is turned on already, but that's okay. Not worried about that. 10,000. Emit when levels are above or equal to the limit. So this is, uh, what, 10 buckets? Yeah, no, 1,000 buckets, please. We have 10,000 buckets in the system. I think we'll produce more than that. 
Where'd the fuel go? <laughs> that didn't last very long. <laughs> ah, all right. Um, should we? We'll just toss a bunch in there. Oh, oh, that, that, uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah we'll have to figure out a way to make this stuff um this quickly too that's gonna be interesting but hey it works and uh you know everything seems to be flowing great now another way that we can have this turn on and off is by having uh sort of like an and switch and have a whole bunch of requirements be met one requirement can be that we have space in our power uh, tanks, and when it goes <clears throat> to a certain level, then we should be good to go. But man, is this thing nice. Whoa. Heck yeah. Now, I think that this is designed for something that makes a very small amount of heat. This is only 18 heat per tick, whereas this LEU 233 is 60. If we take this out and try putting in <laughs> this, it might not go very well. <laughs> um, do I want to try? How much heat can we have? Heat level. It, it goes pretty high. Uh oh, uh, uh, break it. Oh. <laughs> oh no. That was a little bit too fast. Um, I need a lever. Or a button. A button might work really well. Oh. That almost liquefied this thing. Down you go, puppy. Up and off. Oh. Oh. Suffice to say that that was a little bit scary. Uh, this thing is terrifying. And, uh, and I have to build it in space and figure out a whole bunch of stuff. But I think we got a lot done. So, unfortunately, this is going to have to be it for the episode. Look at that thing. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, I like it. All right. I hope that you guys liked it. I hope that you're enjoying. This has been Greta playing Omnifactory. Bye-bye!